the best dry herb vape? Well, I have it right here in my hand. This is the Healthy Rips Rogue SE Dry Herb Vaporizer, and this thing is a beast. So a long time ago, well maybe like a year ago, I made a video about another vape that looked very similar to this that I thought might be the best dry herb vape. I think I even named the video the best dry herb vape. But that vape was just a knockoff of this Rogue, and after I've spent a lot of time with the original, I've changed my mind. And I've tried a lot of dry herb vapes over this last year, and when I go out and I need something to take with me, the one I have with me the most often is this Rogue. The Rogue just seems to be the one that I grab the most often. This has all of the features that you're looking for when you're thinking of like a pocket-sized dry herb vape. This thing has a nice bright LED screen, it has haptic feedback so it vibrates to let you know when things are happening or when it's ready to hit. And the Rogue SE is just a little bit bigger than some of those other copycat models, which is nice because it gives you a bigger battery but also it gives you a bigger flower chamber. And since you don't need much flour at all in one of these little dry herb vapes, this big 12 millimeter chamber lasts for so many rips and everything it does, it does really well. And one of my favorite things about this is just the battery life. Even though this thing is really small, it has a 100 minute battery life. So that's over an hour and a half of vaping. And for the length of sessions that I usually have, that lasts a long time. 100 minutes didn't really seem that long to me at first until I got this out into the real world and started using it every day. But I don't know how many times I've left the house with a vape and no charger. And then when I go to have a session with someone, the battery goes dead immediately. That's such a bummer. I hate when that happens. But even in the morning when I'm leaving and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to charge the vape. I know that this thing has a really long battery life. So I'm usually not even worried about it. And I don't even need to be worried about it because this thing also has pass through charging. And I feel like this is something that every vape should have, but most of them don't. I don't really know why. But the pass-through charging means that even if this does happen to go dead while I'm out and about, that I can just plug it in and charge it while I use it. And it's still charging the whole time, but I can still use it while it's plugged in. I can just use the power straight from the cord. And I love that because it's so aggravating when you plug in the vape when your battery's dead, but you still can't use it. You're like, how are you showing me dead battery when I have you plugged in? I don't know, maybe that doesn't make you angry like it does for me, but that pisses me off. If you're plugged into the wall, you should have power. But the battery life really doesn't matter if the vape doesn't really hit that good. But with the Rogue, you don't have to worry about that. A lot of times you'll break out a vape or something in a group session and a lot of your homies just won't be impressed. They're like, I'm, I'm really trying to smoke right now. Cause you know, some vapes just like, what can I say? They don't hit that hard. Or you know, they take a long time before they start hitting hard. And I mean, it's sort of hard to film like the clouds from these vapes sometimes with all these bright lights on me. But when you're here in person, you can see how hard this really Ooh, rips. Yes. I'll try to film it against a darker background so you can really see the vapor coming out of this thing. But it just rips so good. And it's like, the more you rip it, the harder it hits. At least, you know, up until the point of no return. But it's almost like you gotta sort of get it going and get it activated. Then after you get everything all nice and heated up, then you're ripping clouds. Which is sort of what I preferred <laughs> when I first got into these vapes because it was more like the normal smoking that I was used to. I just like to crank it up real high and just get the biggest rip I could. And it goes up to like 430 degrees so you can really crank it up and get some really massive hits. And I'll still usually crank it up pretty high when I'm like in a session with some friends or something. But the more and more I use this, I also really appreciate how low the temp goes. So it goes from 280 degrees to 430 degrees. So there's like a really wide uh, temp range. So if I don't really need to or want to blow big clouds and get massive rips, I can always just turn the heat down and get maybe less milky rips, but a lot more flavorful rips. And when I first started using this thing, I felt like I was always looking for the perfect temp, but now I'm always just switching it up. I'll switch it up depending on what I want out of this session. I'll try different temps on different types of flour. I never have this thing on the same temp. And it has that one click battery check. So you just hit the button one time and it'll show you your battery level. So you don't got to turn it on and waste battery power just to see how much battery's left. That's nice too. Another thing I like about having this Rogue with me all the time is it has two mouthpieces. These mouthpieces are really easy to take on and off. They're magnetic. They slide on the little rail. 
But this comes with two. So you have the travel mouthpiece, which is what I have on here right now. And it comes with the standard mouthpiece that looks like this. And the standard mouthpiece has this little hole right in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that. But this hole in the middle of the standard mouthpiece fits all kinds of glass accessories. So you can put in like this water pipe adapter, and then you can slide this down in your favorite water pipe, or you could put on this dimpled cooling stem to give you a little space between your mouth and the vapor. You could even do a whole bubbler on your vape. And all of those are great. And the glass attachments are really fun and being able to put this on your water pipe is really fun. But I love the travel mouthpiece because it has this little rubber smell cover. And that was something else that when I first got this Rogue, like didn't really seem that impressive. It was just like this little rubber cover. I didn't think I would ever really use it, but I really underestimated how convenient that little smell proof cover would be on a pocket size vape because pocket size means I have this in my pocket a lot. And there's a lot of places that you end up walking into where you don't want your pocket to smell like a fresh vape or a freshly used vape. Probably don't want to smell like weed every single place you go. But even if I'm not like carrying this in my pocket per se, that little mouthpiece is still really convenient for places like if you're taking your vape in the car somewhere and you don't want to make your whole car reek. Or maybe you got your vape in your backpack and you don't want your backpack to smell. Or maybe you have your vape with you and all your stuff you have to like take into work and put in your locker and you can't have your whole job smelling like your vape. So the rubber mouthpiece is another thing that I didn't really appreciate at first but now it's something I always have with me. And the travel mouthpiece that fits under that little smell proof cover, that's an isolated glass and stainless steel air path, which is 100% food grade material, which I guess aligns perfectly with a brand called Healthy Rips. But it also has this cool little glass viewing window. Usually the only time you get the glass on your vape and get to actually see your vapor is if you have a, you know, a vape that takes these little glass attachments or something like this. But with the Rogue, I always have a glass air path and I can always check out my vapor. That's sick. And the Rogue has something else that causes me to recommend this vape a lot, and that is a really good warranty. Healthy Rips offers a one year free replacement warranty. So if something goes wrong in the first year, they'll replace it for free. And even after you've gone past that one year mark, they still offer a half price replacement warranty. And that's perfect. Give me a warranty on everything. I want warranties for all of my stuff. And Healthy Rips does make a slightly smaller version of the Rogue. It's right here. It's called the Fury Edge. And this thing works just as good. It just has a little smaller chamber and a little bit smaller battery. But if if you want to learn more about the Rogue or the Fury Edge, I did an in-depth unboxing and review that you can watch right here. So if you still have any questions about whether this is the right vape for you, make sure you watch this video and you'll know everything you need to know. I highly recommend though, especially this Rogue SE. I love this thing. See you soon. Peace.